Welcome. My name is Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. On Tuesdays, we like to show you step-by-step -step how to build out an automation to improve your business. Today, I'm going to show you how you can trigger follow-up tasks from tasks that are completed. It's actually a really simple automation, but if you have a structured series of tasks that you want to implement in your business, this is a good one to know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a flow that triggers off a task and is looking at a specific subject to understand what the next task should be. And then in the flow, we'll tell it what the next task should be. And so that it automatically creates those follow-up tasks for you whenever your users click complete on one of those task records. So let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at an opportunity and talk through a potential use case. Let's say whenever we have a new opportunity, we want to set up that customer in our project management system. And once that's finished, we want to send them our credit check form. Well, if we have to do these things in order, we might want to trigger the second task when the first task is completed. And that's what we're going to create with the flow. So what we're going to do is take a look at the subject line and we'll say whenever a task with this subject is updated to be completed, it will then trigger the creation of another record. So to do that, click the setup menu in the upper right hand corner and then bring up flows. We'll create a new flow here by clicking the button in the upper right hand corner and then make this a record triggered flow because it's the update to a task record that's gonna trigger the creation of another task record. So the object that we want this to run on is a task object. And we could say whenever this record is updated, if we're creating a task that is immediately completed, I don't know that we want the follow-up tasks to also be auto-generated. So we'll say when a record is updated. We could also say whenever a record is created or updated, we might want this to run. But I'm thinking that we'll have a task that's already been generated, and when it is later completed, that's when we're going to want this to run. And then for our conditions here, we'll say that the status is equal to completed. And we only want this to run when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. And what we could do here to make this a very simple flow is we could add another condition right here on the subject. And let me paste in the subject here that we want to be our trigger. So here it is, set up new customer in project management system. Copy that, paste that in there. So now this flow is only gonna run when that task has been updated to be completed and the subject is equal to set up new customer and project management system. I actually wouldn't set up our flow quite like this. So most likely you're gonna have multiple tasks that you might wanna have created when a task is complete. And we could recreate this flow over and over again and just have a different value here in the trigger. That's a possibility. you know. Or we could create a decision element. And the decision element here could then take us down different pathways depending on the subject of that task. There isn't really a right or wrong way to do this. It comes down to what's gonna be efficient in your system and what is also gonna be easier for you to maintain. So if you're responsible for managing a, a bunch of automations related to tasks that are being triggered automatically, you know, using a decision here to go down different routes might be a little bit easier because you have one flow to worry about with all your tasks in it versus having multiple flows, one for each task that gets created. But again, there isn't really a right or wrong answer on this one. It's it's whatever you think is easier for you. So for now, just to keep things simple, I'm going to delete that uh, decision tree there. And now we've got our simple trigger. Status equals completed, subject equals set up new customer in project management. It's only going to run when it's updated to meet these conditions. And we want this to be actions and related records because we're going to create a new record. That'll be our next step here is to create a record and we'll say create credit app task. Let's use separate resources and literal values here. And then the object we wanna create is of course a task object, a task record. And now we're gonna have some fields to fill in. One of course is gonna be the subject, but we also wanna have, you know, potentially that related opportunity show up here. And we're certainly gonna need a customer related to that task. And then we'll take an owner as well. And let's set a status too. So the status is easy. That's going to be not started. Our subject will be send credit app. The what ID here, we're actually going to reference the task that triggered this task to be created. So if you scroll down on the right hand side here, we have a global variable called record. 
And this has all of the fields, all the values on our task that started our flow. And so from here, we can just go down to the what ID and we're copying it over. So whatever record our original task was related to, that's gonna be what our new task is related to as well. Come back to record here. We're gonna look at the who ID, do the same thing. And we're gonna do the same thing with the owner ID as well. Let's add one more field here. We can add this to just the description and we'll say created by flow. Click save. And let's call this task create send credit app task. I'm gonna copy the name of that and then come back to our description here. And we'll say created by flow colon, and I'm putting in the name of the flow there. And I'm also gonna write in what it's triggered by a task with the subject. And then let me copy that value one more time. Come back here. Now this part is definitely not necessary but it can be really helpful if you end up having a very complicated org with a lot of these task automations in there. So here we go. Basically all I'm doing is I'm, I'm adding this to the description of the new task that gets created so that somebody who looks at it will know where it came from. They can easily figure out that it was created by a flow and the thing that triggered it was this other task with this specific subject. In the future, things are gonna change, they always do, and this will make it a lot easier for people to know where they might need to make a change as the business process evolves. Click save, and let's see how this works. I'm gonna click activate. I'll come over here, back to my opportunity, and when I mark this as completed, that should then trigger the flow to create a new task. If I hit refresh here, there it is. Send credit app has showed up. If I click into that send credit app task, you can see right here is my extra description. So related to our same opportunity, it's related to our same person, although looks like there was no person in that original task that just shows up as blank, and the status is not started. And that's it. It's a really simple flow, but this can be quite useful if you've got a bunch of tasks that are dependent on each other. I would just consider adding in that description text or something to help you keep it all organized so that it doesn't get overwhelming or, or too difficult to maintain as you need to make changes in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.